Hello everyone, in this class we will talk about logic gates and in the end of these slides I will show you how to implement logic gates in the Scilab. We will talk about these three main gates uh, uh, first of all because with these gates you can build the rest of them. So we will talk total six gates. So let's look first three gates, which I uh, call it main gates. So not gate is the simplest of the all gates. So when input is zero, output is one. When input is one, output is zero. Second gate is AND gate. Second main gate is AND gate. AND gate is compared with product operation in mathematics. So when both inputs are one then output is one but if only one of the input is zero then it's enough that the output is zero but or is or operation is compared with addition operation in mathematics so when one of the inputs is one then output is one so this truth table let's fill and not AND gate or NAND gate we will talk and NOR gate these are very similar and if you apply the logic that I explained here, you can you don't have to remember truth table for NAND or NOR gates. So because NAND gate is just simply uh, simply the you add NOT gate here, so it's called NAND gate or it has special symbol. You add AND gate this small circle and that's it. It becomes NAND gate. Not OR gate. Also, you add to no OR gate to NOT operation. So this is like that. And the symbol also very similar to, uh, to OR gate. So this you add just one circle and that's it. So the truth table, you apply again the output of AND gate, NOT gate. So the truth table should be the inverse of the AND. So, and for NOR gate as well, the same true. You apply the inverse of the output of the OR gate. So you, it becomes one in first and the zero in the rest of the uh, outputs. This is NOR gate. So this is inverse of AND OR and this is inverse of AND. The last gate we will talk about is exclusive OR. The symbol of exclusive OR also similar to OR gate. So you draw like that, similar to or gate let me draw it like in blue let me clear it first let me clear it and draw it in blue so you draw like or gate two inputs and then one line here it becomes exclusive or gate so the output truth table is a little bit different in this gate. So let's build the table here, A, B, and Q output. So when both inputs are the same, then output is zero. So when both inputs are same, then output is zero. But when both inputs are different, then output is one. So that's why it's most times used in compare operations. So when, so when two bits, if you compare two bits here, so let's make it zero as well. So, so when you apply 
exclusive or operation these two numbers and it becomes 1 1 and 0 when both are same you get 0 so let's move to scilab side of this class so i already built five logic gates with help of scilab i will do with you not gate how to build not gate so you need to bring from palette browser as you see some sources so you need to bring one constant because not gate requires only one and you need to bring cloak i will say later why and then you need to bring from integer is logical operations which as you see here and from sync again you need to bring a fits block oh, that's it uh, clock operations clock two you need only four affids and as you see here we have here and how to change this and to different logic it's simple it's written here you need you just need change operator code here as you see to different number you can give from 0 to 5 if you give for example 2 it will become NAND let's give and for NOT gate which we need you need change it to 5 number of inputs should be 1 and that's it and you simply connect this and after that is you should see output is zero here when i play press the play button or start simulation that's it you see it's in zero this is end of our current lesson we have learned here six logic gates and how to simulate it in scilab